But I remember the first, the only, maybe it's the only letter I've ever got, gotten from Milton, but uh, the Tribune, the Chicago Tribune, asked me my comments on, uh, on, on our, university, our two Nobel laureates. And I said, it seemed to me that both Bellow and Friedman were deeply committed to what is at the, the core of uh, the American experience, which is individuality and the way in which more individuality can be generated and more people can come their own, both of them in their very different ways. And I said it, it, wasn't, it wasn't an accident that Jewish Americans at this period were so deeply committed to this notion. And, uh, and Milton wrote a, a wonderful little header with a little joke saying, do you want us to deliver our thank yous in Yiddish? <laughs> so, <laughs> But at any rate, I've, so I've had these interesting things, and my respect for him has grown and grown to this very hour, when to hear his responses so to the discussions at this celebration of his death. They're so clear, they're so alert, they're so humane that I, uh, I think of him as a kind of human dessert, which doesn't mean that he isn't an hors d'oeuvre and an entree as well. But there are very few people whose humanity, whose individuality has been so developed over 90 years that you can say, this is someone very special. And uh, I think this can be recognized by any taxi driver who drives him to the airport and will probably be able to engage him the very way, say, Margaret Thatcher has engaged him 24 hours earlier or Ronald Reagan 24 hours later. This desire to explain, to clarify, to spread a humane Freemanian gospel is a beautiful thing when it isn't in the hands of a bully, an egomaniac, a narcissist, or anything else. This is a man who has been a great teacher in every way, as far as I can tell.